Welcome Geminis, Geminis, Geminis. I want to say welcome to the Aquarian season. Um, this is the Aquarian season for the year um, in and twin talk, but whatever you pick it up is the time you should have it. All right, Gemini, so what we see in here is transpiring is that we have, as you draw four elements, you need to choose um, which one of these elements um, give you um, the power because you create your own um, abundance and wealth. What is good is going to be um, very, very positive. I see um, four um, is here, um, the shoes and the ring and the rose. Choose one of these symbols, whichever symbol that affects you. All right, so for your abundance and financial stability, Gemini, is what we recognize, you begin with the energy of new start. So a lot of you um, could be leaving one job to go to another job, or you could be creating um, some sort of a new abundancy. Whenever the ace, the ace of wands comes up, is about desirable energy. So a lot of you are going to be very energized in the period of Aquarian, and the reason is that the Aquarians are your um, sister sign, and this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energy. Truth and authenticity is going to be the name of the game for this uh, um, uh, abundance um, timeline. And burning away obstacles, starting a new project. So a lot of you are going to be starting new projects, new businesses. A lot of you are leaving some sort of a situation, outgrown situation behind. You're moving forward in a very, very powerful way. And this is going to be aligning you in a lot of wonderful way moving forward because it's as if it is time for a lot of you to make some changes, take a new stand and move forward. As we look at the second week, we see you have the energy of the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is it's about you. It's about Saturn in Pisces. And when Saturn is in Pisces, it is about, uh, you know, the emotional overload, giving too much of yourself to another, okay? um. So what you're going to be doing now in the second week is like, Backing up, backing up. Okay, um, I got to focus on my work. I got to focus on my job. I can't be just uh, giving out my energies. So Saturn in Pisces is an energy where you are going to be making changes uh, when it comes up to, to your um, money flow, your financial flow. Your, um, you're going to be making a whole lot of changes because you're going to be transforming your life and recognizing that it's time to transform yourself and um, set boundaries, okay? Um, departing from disappointment and separating yourself and bringing yourself in positive alignment of energy. So however this is happening and transpiring, you're going to be recognizing slowly and surely how you are creating um, wonderful um, stability, wonderful abundance in your world by choosing to separate yourself from situation that no longer serves you and moving forward. And that is going to be really aligning you. A lot of you are dealing with people in high position. And so um, managers and that sort of a thing, you have um, some sort of a link with a Taurus. So the elephant is always the energy of the Taurus. Okay, so you're linked to, with the Taurus and it's association with learning and teaching, um, representing the traditional knowledge necessary to function in society so this is really really wonderful because a lot of you are also going to be standing up for education spiritual um lessons sounds and music because um a lot of you um if you recognize some people like to put music on when they're working and i see a lot of you are going to be focusing by you know um closing off of whatever is happening around you and standing your ground and recognizing hey I need to be focusing on my work in this Aquarian time. And that is when you're going to be receiving a whole lot of inner peace. A whole lot of inner peace is going to be coming in. And a lot of you um, are going to be having some sort of a new promotion that could be coming up. And this new promotion is coming up because you recognize uh, um, your potential and other people recognize your potential. And by that, you are creating um, better stability in your world. 
fire of fire is in the fourth week and this fire of fire is that your passion is going to be a little bit drained because this um fire of fire energy is in the reverse so, um so vitality and strength um is not what you're going to be having okay because um it's as if uh, this vitality and strength is taken up from you so you have to recognize this and understand so don't push it in the last week uh, um you know because whatever is transpiring and if you're dealing with a fire sign boss keep away from this person in the second and last week because this person especially in the last week as you go to the end of the aquarian um timeline you're going to be recognizing that this person is going to be creating some sort of an issue for you so you um gemini needs to stay away from a fire sign person or your boss do not get in conflicts with your boss at this timeline, especially in the fourth and last week, okay? So if you have a new promotion, if you um, have a new uh, um, transition in your world that is coming up, uh, you need to stand your ground and stand your ground. Um, if you have a boss, make sure that you are experienced and skilled enough because this person might want to throw some sort of a loop at you and you're you need to be focusing in order to catch this and throw it right back okay so gemini's this is um um a wonderful wonderful aquarian season that you're going to be having because whenever we start a season with some sort of a new start and ending um and changing something that has been transpired so i see a lot of you could be having um new um stability in your world by moving forward in a, a positive alignment of energy where you are keeping your wits uh at, at 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 a sharp you know you're sharpening up your thoughts your thinking um you're sharpening up your ideas this is going to be good this aquarian season is really going to be putting you on the place that you need to be this aquarian season is going to be helping you to recognize uh, your skills and experience and use them in the proper way so stay away from the bosses some of you is going to be in the fourth week but some of you um you know stay away from conflicts chaos uh, um that a boss will try to create or someone who has used their powers will cry to be clear. I see some of you, your boss could be leaving in the fourth week. Um, whatever is happening. And that fourth week is, is going to be showing up that a boss could be leaving. So the first week is from the 20th until the um, 26th. Then we have from the 26th to the 2nd of February. Then we have... Uh, from the second for the third of February, the third week with our so from the third of February, in the week of the third of February to the ninth of February, you have to recognize that you will be dealing with someone in I or Tartes, and you gotta be aware of this. Some of you could be moving, shifting to some sort of a um international company or a higher position, or you could be recognized. Uh, for the work that you have done okay the four weeks some sort of a jealousy is going to be coming up with a lot of you and your bosses um whoever have a boss that is a fire sign person stay away from this person because this person has a whole lot of grudge um towards you gemini so be aware of this because this person could have been the one that has been blocking you so that you do not exhilarate in a wonderful way in your life and you could have been blocked by this person so here you are going to be coming up on um, this person in the fourth week, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, whether it's a fire sign, whoever this person is, you're definitely going to be coming up on this person. And what is going to be recognized about this person is that you're going to be realizing that your stint of growth in order to create your uh, ability and prosperity had to do with a fire sign man who had created a lot of... Uh, on a healthy situation in your world and i see you are going to be taking back your power taking back your reign showing up this this person and is going to be standing in such a powerful alignment of energy to let this person know hey you know i see you i know what you have done but i'm taking back uh, 
um, my reign in order to create my and, and allow myself to access the abundance and, and wealth and prosperity in my world. So this is going to be um, very, very good in this Aquarian season. You're going to be helped by your sister sign, the Aquarians, because you're vibrating in the hair season. You are an air sign and you are going to be helped. So this is going to be wonderful. Um, in order to um, recognize which one of these articles you took, which one of these um um, whether to ring the um, uh, the rose or the shoes or the dice number four um, you are going to be recognizing for yourself these are lucky numbers that you can use one eight and four one eight and four you have twice four so I see some sort of unexpected energies of uh, people in higher power that is going to be supporting you in order to move you forward and this is going to be good i got a girl please remember to show your love by thumbs up share 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 these videos go and check out the extended the extended you can use the blue link in order to accelerate the energy and choose your frequency moving forward namaste